We have two pandas on loan from uh, China, and uh, they're here at least through 2015. Uh, I'm Paul, from uh, originally from San Diego, California, but now I'm a teacher in San Jose, and we're here with 48 eighth graders touring D.C. for the week. I'm Doug, I'm from San Jose, California, born and raised there, and I'm with Paul and the 48 students and many chaperones, <laughs> visiting the zoo and many other highlights in Washington, D.C. Yep, we saw one panda, the other one's hiding right now. The one was asleep. He was snoozing away. But the um, other panda, we took a gander and it's not around anywhere to be found. Must be hiding. <laughs> Tyshawn, who was born here in 2005, he went back to China in 2010. He was here four and a half years, uh, and he went back and tearfully went back in 2010. I cried my eyes out, but he went back. People in Washington learned they will have to say goodbye to a beloved citizen Friday. The National Zoo announced it will return Tai Shan, a panda cub, to his homeland China early next year. Because I, I told him, I wrote him a note that day when, when he left here. I had a note on his, on his crate on, from FedEx gave us the opportunity to write notes to to him when he left that day and I wrote a note and I said, Tyshawn, I will be there. I will be there to see you. Don't don't forget me and uh, I plan to keep my end of the bargain and I will be there.